lovely Libras. A very warm welcome to your May 2018 horoscope. This is a very big month because Uranus is going to change signs and this only happens approximately every seven years. So Uranus has been in Aries since 2011 and on the 16th of this month we'll go into Taurus. And this promises some very big global changes for us on the macro level and also some big personal changes for you on the micro level of your life. Let me take you through the month. We've got Mars and Pluto resonating here together for the first couple of weeks of this month in your fourth house. So this would be a really good time for taking your power back as far as maybe family is concerned or people you're really close with. Maybe it's time to uh, uh, look at control and power issues. There might be some fear things that come up that need to be dealt with and faced. And you'll find you've got an inner strength. You may find if you really um, push yourself out of comfort zones, you may find that you're a whole lot stronger than you thought you were. And boy, with the Pluto squares that have been going on to your natal sun for these last few years, many of you have gone through huge transformations, haven't you, my dear Librans? So you're already a lot stronger than you were, and you know that. So this is just another point at which you just realize that you've got a lot more muscle than maybe you think you've got. So, on the 14th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into your 8th house, joining the Sun. On the 15th, we've got a lovely new Moon, whoopsie daisy, coming into this house. And on the 15th and the 16th of the month, Uranus changing sign and going into your 8th house, where it's going to be for several years. So, a huge focus for you this month, lovely Libras, on your 8th house. What does this mean? Well, first of all, it has everything to do with self-esteem, valuing yourself and valuing others. You may find yourself taking charge of somebody else's resources. You might get into a new business partnership, a new deal and something that's exciting. You might find yourself getting into a relationship and taking it to a much deeper level. This is going to be a wonderful time for exploring anything to do with the mind, the mental energy, and Uranus is the higher mind, so really getting lots of inspirations and uh, possibly some awakening on your spiritual journey into having more consciousness and awareness so that you can manifest more of the things that you want. It can bring you money and gifts from people, investments, Sponsorships, grants, all kinds of things can come with this energy in this eighth house. So it's, it's boding to be quite exciting and it, it really will be an opportunity for you to really possibly get much more intimate with people generally and maybe with one special person. And on the 17th of the month, we've got Mars coming into your fifth house. That's a great place for Mars. This is wonderfully creative. It's great for starting a business, for putting a new idea into an existing business. It's very good for your creative juices. It's good for anything involving entertainment, dance, music, singing, art, and anything generally involving children, playing, having fun. This is really encouraging you to have some lightness in your life, as well as some of the serious things that you uh, get involved with. On the 20th of the month, we've got Venus coming into your 10th house. And here, this could be really great news about a work situation, a job, and also encouraging you to find enjoyment in whatever it is that you're doing. So if you're not enjoying your work, maybe it's time to change it because Venus is really going to push you in the direction of your creativity 
and really what is it that you love. And then with this power that you found with the Mars Pluto, that you really move in that direction. On the 21st of the month, we've got the sun coming into your ninth house. This is wonderful, shining a light on maybe going on a trip, traveling somewhere, planning a trip. It's good for publishing something, getting a book out there, some information, and also good for studying something uh, new, taking your learning to a higher level. And on the 29th of the month, a full moon happening here in your third house, lovely Libras, and the third house here. Um, really good time for networking, maybe negotiating a deal, finalizing a deal. Good time maybe to do something, upgrade your technology, download something important, uh, upgrade your uh, knowledge of uh, computers generally. Uh, and also, you may meet really some really interesting people. Jupiter in the second, of course, bringing you possibilities of more money, more opportunities to create maybe a passive income as well as an active one. So there you have it, lovely Libras. I wish you a wonderful May. Thank you very much for commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Bye for now.